Unity Virtual Production Episode 9, How to Create a 3D Object. So as you can see, we are picking up from the last video where we created a gyro and we're using an iPhone to control this virtual camera. In this episode, we are going to build a 3D object in Unity we don't need any extra plugins. We don't need any extra anything. We're just gonna do it right into Unity and we're gonna make this block look like a camera. All right, so I'm gonna do this whole tutorial on my laptop to show you that 3D modeling doesn't have to be on a high-end computer only until you get like a lot of polygons. You need a lot of polygons, then you're gonna need to upgrade your computer. But for this moment, I'm just using this laptop. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download the package to build, and that's called Pro Builder. So we're gonna go up to the package manager, go to our Unity registry. Here's Pro Builder. I'm gonna hit install, go to Tools, Pro Builder, and open up the Pro Builder window. Okay? Now, I have used Pro Builder before, and so you might see this icon mode. And you can go up to the three dots and you can change it to text mode. I suggest you change in between so you can see what's what, because just looking at the icons is very confusing. Let's make a camera. I'm gonna take a new shape. So here's our new object. Now in Pro Builder, you have Object Selection, Vertex Selection, Edge Selection, and then Face Selection. So if you've ever worked with 3D modeling, you can grab the different parts of this object. I'm gonna grab this out. I'm gonna delete the first object I built. So here's my new project that I'm building. And I'm gonna take the Pro Builder window and I'm gonna drag it into where my inspector window is. A very simple way to do this is I'm gonna click subdivide. I hit subdivide twice on my object and now I have all these lines pop up. And as you can see, if I go over to my edge selection, I can now grab, if you see, I can now grab these edges. As I can hold shift and I can grab and I can drag this out, okay? And now I'm gonna go up to the scale tool and if I grab this red area and the green area, I've now expanded the area of my map box. Grab these four edges right here and instead of using the scale, I want to go back to the move I'm gonna hold down shift as kind of like the side panel of my camera. And let's go to my object and I'm gonna create a cylinder. Here's a cylinder. I'm gonna make it a child of my cube. And in that process, I can go over and I can rename this camera. I can just type in 90 into the Z axis under transform. Go back to my cylinder and now I'm moving it around. So I'm gonna move it right here and I can be like 0.1. 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19
and just move this object forward. And there we have it. Here's a very simple, but as you can see, here's a movie camera. This is a good visual representation that I just want you guys to begin to think of the great cool objects and what you can do within this one program. So now that we have this, let's attach our camera to the front of our model camera. So our virtual camera is right here. And I can see through my view right here, I can see what I'm looking at and I can move this around. So let's line this up. And now I'm in the model. We don't want to be in the model just in case anything is, is facing or blocking the way. So I can go over here. And so now my virtual camera is lined up with my model camera. And what I'm going to do is in camera, I'm going to drop the main camera in the hierarchy of my camera. So now that that's done, let's color what we just did. How we're going to do that is we're going to go down to our assets. We're going to right click. And I know I didn't do this earlier, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a folder so we can organize everything. I'm going to create the materials folder. Okay, within the materials folder, I'm going to right click, create, and we're going to create our first material. This is going to be called camera gray. And while I'm here, I'm going to right click material, and I'm going to call this camera green. And I can see that the color is white. So I'm going to make this material now gray. And then I'm going to go to the green and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go over to, I like this green right here, maybe a dark green. And there we go. So I have my two colors set up. So now this camera gray, I'm going to drag it onto camera, just like that. It's now changed colors. And if I go on to cylinder one, and cylinder two. Now, as you can see, our camera, our model camera has some life and color to it. Okay, so our new camera, we don't have the gyroscript on it. So all I have to do is go to gyroscript and I drag it onto the camera. And now the camera has the gyroscript at the bottom. Let's hit play. Okay. The virtual camera is now represented by a computer model of a camera. And I hope this really visualizes more in your mind how virtual production can work and how we're controlling the virtual world out here in the real world with devices that we already have and how cool it is to have a visual representation now of what the camera will look like. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my content, give me a subscribe and like my video and check out my next video. Thanks.